Unless you're Cotton's. <laughs> you know, you don't have to stay, lovey. Especially if you're going to mither me as much as Arcane has been. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not milking it more. What? I just... I, I can't get used to it. It's truth be told, him in fussing. <laughs> well, luckily for you, I'm a lot more easy going. So, you can do whatever you want on my watch. Play some cards, or you can have a nap. In fact, I could probably do the nap myself. I'll keep you company. It's very noble of you, love. <laughs> Although, I don't really enjoy a cat nap much lately. I tend to wake up a bit all over the shop, you know. Do you mean like yesterday when you got confused with my mum? Yeah. And it's not a very nice feeling. Knowing that it's not just your body that's packing up, but your mind that's playing silly beggars and all. Does it happen much? Enough. Enough for me not to relish it happening too much more. Honestly, just when you think you can't feel any more dog rough, life manages to pile a bit more on, doesn't it? You know, that's how Jackson felt towards the end. His body working against him, I mean. Until so he got to a point where he, he couldn't stand it anymore. What you did for that young man must have taken incredible courage. <clears throat> and why does it feel like the worst thing I've ever had to do? I can understand that, sweetheart. I thought I could do it, until I was in the room with him and it was happening. Just watching him die like that, knowing I'd helped him. It turns out it was a million times harder. It took me ages to remember all the good stuff that happened before, you know? Instead of reliving that day every time. Oh, lovely. I know that's good stuff, you know. We had a holiday in Whitby just before. Sorted us out to do a skydive while we were there. You never did. No. Jackson did. Said he felt like he was flying. I'd never seen him that giddy. And then he ribbed me for ages for bottling it. <laughs> but that's the sort of stuff you've got to cling on to. Memories that you... No one can take it from you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's supposed to make you feel better, not worse. Oh, you are. You have made me feel better because you've been here for your mum. Because she struggled with this more than I could have imagined. Do you know, it's years since I've been to Whitby. Standing on that beach with a sandy sandwich. Feet that I couldn't feel because I've just been paddling in the great freezing North Sea. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah? <laughs> You've given me an idea. 